The Redeemer has risen. Hey, what's up guys? Mastiff here, back to do another first person video. And today I'm going to be doing some games versus One Vision. Now, One Vision has been taking a few games off of me lately, so I'm hoping that this goes well, this first person video. And yeah, he's pretty on point with the BM lately. So I'm going to be sure to try and play well versus him. I've been playing god awful lately, so... What we'll do now is we'll just mute one vision so he doesn't become too much of a distraction to me because I am easily tilted. So I want to make sure that he is um, silenced. And four rifles escorted to the spike should ensure that I grab them, assuming he's not and he has a shadow team rush going there. But knowing my luck, that is probably going to happen. Okay. And yeah, it's a bit ambitious trying to engage there, so he's deciding not to. Going to also send a buzzer around the side, which is not going to work either. And I should be able to easily grab my spike here without a problem. Okay, he's only got one buzzer there, might be able to kill that. And we're just going to try and deny him the scout here. He's got two buzzes on one HP, should be able to dispatch those as well, I think, and um, I don't think he would be Traveler because he sent too many buzzes to the bottom. If he was Traveler, he would have reserved more money for Disintegrators, so I doubt that he's Traveler based on the fact that he made uh, all those buzzes there. It just doesn't make sense if he didn't go for the spikes if he was Traveler also. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to eco up here and then expand. Ideally, you should probably expand on one power plant. And we've got a bit of lag here, as you can see. I was hitting my pack up button about a million times to try and get my NZ to pack up, but it just would not. Okay, and we're just going to expand. Maybe go for the blue Tiberium field with my fourth harvester. And we're going to see what he's doing right now. See if he's going to go for pits, I mean seekers or what. I need to know that. And got a tiny bit of lag of course he's got disintegrators going to the spikes okay interesting so we're gonna make some APC engineers and maybe try and um, kill those uh, descent so we'll be able to do that easily this harvest also has a machine gun in it so that will also help me okay and we're just going to rally these over there and we should be able to clean up these uh, units easily. Okay, and we're just going to kite those easily right now. We're both going to escape with a moderate sum of Tiberium here, which is fine by me. We're also going to grab the bottom spike down there as well and scout what he's doing. I imagine he's probably got um, a fourth refinery. He probably went greedy and made loads of refineries. And you shouldn't get that. He tried to target it down, but I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'm also going to get this back, I guess, and just try and harass him in the meantime. You can go for a tier three and tech two firehawks and Keeping, keep him on tier 1, that's a valid strategy and tactic you can do. That will certainly work for me. I'm not sure why he decided to send some buzzes over there. Maybe he knew that I was going for that. Not entirely certain. Okay, so here is a Devara tank. Should be able to dispatch that though. But no, he's got a one of those there. This harvester is returning to the blue field, but I should be able to kill that off easily. I believe one of those is empty, so we'll get this uh, minute rocket squad in there immediately. And we'll go for an MCV. I'm a bit slow, as you can see. Uh, usually I'm a bit faster than this. Admittedly, I have not been playing that great lately. And these games are kind of evident of that. Okay, so you grab both of the spikes. And I'm going to go for my recommend hub in a moment. Should be able to um, get some Firehawks out also to bomb him. 
And my MCB is en route over there right now. He hasn't got any air right now, I don't think. I'm going to call in the Orca Strike here just so I can uh, reveal what he's doing. See if he's going to go for a tier 3. <clears throat> I don't think he is, though. I think he's just content with remaining on tier 1. Oh, it's Vara Tank there. Let's get away from that. And we're going to put a bookmark on this um, so we can uh, go back to it easily. Okay. I'm also going to sell one of these refineries off because they do consume a lot of power. Have refineries in this game do indeed consume loads of power. He hasn't got tier 3. He's still content with being on tier 2, which is not going to really work for him. He is uh, at the moment uh, quite content with just allowing me to tech up. Okay, and is he going for Storm Riders or what? I don't suppose he would. I'm going to get the Stratified upgrade for these, which is really a priority right now. And another priority would also be to... Uh, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to try and bomb his tier 3 if he has one. I don't think he does, though. Uh, I'll probably go for Tungsten, seeing how he's going for those right now. Okay, and... Yeah, I'm going to have my Marv out right now, which is nice for me. I might just bomb his spikes. Those are the easiest targets to to get right now. I don't suppose he'll be going for more Storm Riders. It wouldn't make much sense, honestly. And I'm just going to stop him from getting the spike income here. And we'll dispatch that uh, Gunwalker as well with ease. Okay, and this Marv will leave my Harvesters um, with a few Tiberium to harvest. However... I am going to get enough of them, enough Tiberium. I am going to leave enough for the harvesters to harvest it. Okay, and I need more power plants, I do believe, also. Okay, and I'm pretty behind, I'm pretty ahead here, I should say. Okay, and... He's going to find a gap over here, but I should be able to destroy these actually and we'll go for some zone troopers I do think as well he's not really willing to engage me with the storms either I suppose he knows that I have firehawks and he just wants me to keep them on that stance okay and these storms are just gonna actually return to base actually those storms will never go do anything there because I have the tungsten. Okay, he's got one of those still remaining. Want to handle that as well. We'll go for the upgrades for the zone troopers. There's also one I can get from the tier 2 in the form of the scanner pack. Okay, and what does he have now? Is he just remaining on tier 2? Or he's probably teched up already. Let's dispatch this now, I guess. Okay, and you can force fire with the um, sonic emitter to make it shoot further. We we'll actually destroyed this spike right here. Okay, and... get these on anti-air loadout and just keep massing up my army here maybe go for commando I guess I'll probably sell these sonic emitters off as well we don't need those okay and we're just gonna maybe bomb his uh, tier 3 I guess is which is right here so we'll just bomb that and stop his tripod production I'm surprised he didn't actually drop a anti-air there to begin with. Okay, and yeah, we're just going to clean these up real quick and go for more zone troopers. And that's going to be as good as dead. Okay, well, 
I did lose a lot of harvesters, so I'm going to have to rebuild some right now. And keep him on tier 1 if I can. Maybe we can bomb his tier 2, I should say, and keep him uh, detect. But I'm not even going to have enough ammunition for that, by the look of things, which is a bit unfortunate for me. And he got a bit... Um, I'm not sure if I agreed on that decision there, throwing down the Buzzer Swarm support powder. Well, why am I going for Orcas? Orcas is not the unit I need to be going for right now. Okay, well, I guess I'll just push him. Maybe I can do something. I have my Tier 3 upgrades and everything. I don't think I have um, EMP grenades there. I want to research that for the Zone Troopers I just got. Okay, and this commando is going to do some major damage for me. Oh, cool, that's a bit... Uh, I don't really agree on the Devastator warships. They're going to get just blown out of the sky by my Firehawks. I'm going to just leash that right there. And just keep going for Zone Troopers. I might mix in some rifles in, though, just for protection versus mass buzzers. Okay, so we're just going to bomb these. And uh, just... Keep take my time with this game, no need to rush it. I'm in a winning position right now. He's not able to leech any Tiberium. What I could do is I can get some zone heads for my zone troopers. I can put some uh, zone troopers in hammerheads, so I'll make some of those right now. Okay, and I'll go for these Firehawks and anti-air loadout just so I can uh, keep his Devastator warships uh, low in numbers. I was able to get that power plant as well. Okay, and we're just going to try and bomb these Devastator Warships out of the sky if we can find any of them. Need to try and keep away from the anti-air as well. Unable to spot where hit them are, so I'm just going to call in a V-35 Ox. And I can use that V-35 Ox to reveal where those um, Devastator Warships are, so I can then shoot them down with the Hammerheads. Okay, so, I mean the Firehawks, it's right there. Okay, so we're just going to take that out of the sky real quick, without losing anything. Alright, and we're just going to put some of these zone troopers inside of the hammerheads right now. I'm getting out of position here a little bit. Might want to be wary of that. Okay, and... Let's see what happens here. Don't think he's. this is going to be enough for him, though. Just don't see it happening. I'm going to go for more. Alright, okay. And we're just going to destroy these off. And just DMP this hexapod. I'm just unable to kill this right now. Oh, I've got those as well. I forgot all about those. And I'm really making a mess of this engagement. This is probably the worst I've ever played in a game. And I was unable to really finish that cleanly. So I guess you're seeing the absolute worst of me in these games. Uh, Wookie Bird will be cringing like hell. But uh, I did break un um, Unleashed's One Vision's winning spree in that game. <laughs> yeah, the gameplay has not been uh, up to par with me lately. That's the reason why I was unable to really bring in a first person video to you in the last week. So yeah, we'll do some more games. Alright guys, Master Fear back to do game number two versus One Vision. And this time I've been dealt Reaper 17 on the map tournament dust bowl so the goal on this map is to grab one of the spikes here we could probably go for a few buzzers also and try and kill his spike he'll probably go for the left hand side spike if you're spawning from the top position on this map generally you go for that side 
you go for the right hand side if you're a screen faction because of this uneven terrain here. I'm going to go for this spike for that very reason. And if he wants to go for it, then he's going to find it difficult dealing with these buzzers here. At the very least, I should be able to kill his engineer and break even. Okay, so he's mock, which probably means he's going to go for a shadow team rush. So I'm going to be wary of that. Actually, no, let's go and send it to him right now. Maybe send the engineer over there. Okay, and... Yeah, the, the goal here is to try and kill his engineer. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay, well, he's going to grab both of them. Which is unfortunate for me. Yeah, this map really does come down to poker, as you can tell. Poker is the name of the game on this map. And he's going to grab two of the spikes. So, yeah, very fun game, as you can see. That's how it rolls when you're playing uh, versus uh, mock um, or nod on this map versus random. You, don't, you can't really play around it because your opponent is actually... Wow, what am I doing? I'm going for a tier 2. Um, no, I'm not going to be able to win this game. So that's GG. I can't win because I lost an engineer and he's got shadow teams out. So we're going to try and play on some non-pokery maps next time and see what we can do. But uh, yeah, that's hardly a game. <laughs> it's, it's just not a game. It's just, what, what, what could I have done there? Different. Alright guys, Masty Fear back to do the third game, and in that last game I knew I didn't have any chance of winning because through experience, I mean I've played like 20,000 games and I know from experience if you lose an Engineer as Skrin on that map versus Shadow Teams, you can kiss your chances of winning goodbye. And I don't really like to rely on my opponent making a mistake, so yeah I decided to throw in the tower right there. And also it costs a lot of money to deal with Shadow Teams because they're just super fast. For some reason EA decided to make Shadow Teams faster in Kane's Wrath. In Tyrion Wars originally they were slower. I'm not exactly sure why they decided to buff the speed of the Shadow Teams, but in the end of the day it didn't really help the balance in Kane's Wrath at all. But yeah, I'm glad that the lag is somewhat gone now. That's always one consolation. And yes, uh, hopefully he's not a Skrin faction, although I'm quite happy with that as well because I'm mock, I can do some nice um, EMP shenanigans with enlightened stuff and stuff like that. He probably is a nod faction based on him not having any scouts. Okay, so I've got the spike here and I'm gonna scout him. I need to scout what faction he is. I can't really um, do much aside from what I'm doing now until I know what faction he is. I could have gone for some bikes and put some preemptive pressure onto him, but if he was Trial 59, I would have just lost. Okay, so he is actually a uh, Nod faction. He's Black Hand. Okay. I'm going to keep one of these selected because he's sure as hell going to, going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going back here. Does he have anything queued from his um, building? I don't think he does. I don't think he's going for bikes. His Warfact refinery is a bit late, probably indicates bikes, which he is going for. So yeah, I did not see those coming. And I'm going to lose my harvest here by the look of things, I think, or maybe I can save it. If Revision deciding to switch targets. Okay, and... He almost lost it there, actually. He almost threw that. I've got my harvester there, that could be costly. So yeah, he's going to be ahead of me by one harvester. Was able to stop that harvester at the very least from crushing me. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty high now in economy due to that. He is going to have a tip load of Tiberium before me, but that's not the end of the world. I do have these two scorpion tanks and he did lose his three bikes in the process, so... It's still looking favorable for me, I'd say. We're going to get our fourth harvest out at more or less the same time. And he was also forced to sell off some power plants as well. Now he'll be going for units. And I'm going to go for two war factories now myself. And uh, put some pressure on here. Maybe put these on whole fire so I can get a nice volley off on these bikes that he has. He has one bike. I saw one bike at the very least. Okay, so yeah, he's going to be forced to make some units here to hold me off. So this will uh, equalize the game a little bit in my favor. 
I'm not sure why he decided to go for more bikes. That makes absolutely no sense at all. Okay, and... Yeah. Those two bikes of him didn't really do much at all, as you saw. He's going to be on that many harvesters right now, so... Well, I'm not sure if he actually force-fired that, but yeah, that definitely did help him. We're going to clean these two bikes off, though, with the buggy. Being a real pain in the ass, though, with that. He's going for mass infantry now, okay, so I'm not going to bother investing into more of those. Going to get these Scorpion tanks back for some repairs and just eco up, I guess, now. Looks like he's going for some kind of man spam. Sold the wrong war factory, I could have just gone with the one that was closer to my expansion. I think he's going to go for the upgrade for his infantry as well, which could be a mistake. I mean, I've got five buggies here, so I should be able to fort some infantry off. Okay, so yeah, he's trying to focus down those right now, which I don't really agree with. I can use these bikes just to scout him pretty much at this point. How many harvesters I've got? I've eight harvesters, so yeah, I don't need any more harvesters. Maybe just go for mass Scorpion tank now. And those infantry are going to be at my base in a long, long time, so I have time to build up a force to stop those if Maybe he thought I was going to go for some kind of all-in. Yeah, I probably f do think he fought that, so yeah, he went and overspent on those infantry. I'm going to go for the upgrade myself here. Okay, and, yep, uh, well, I'm actually, I thought I was, okay then. <laughs> I thought I wasn't that faction, but okay, I think I do have a, a, an idea here. We can go for a secret shrine. And we can maybe go for some, um, what do you call them, those troopers. Tip troopers, those do really well. Okay, so we'll do that right now. And also we can upgrade some of these power plants as well in the meantime. Maybe some shadow teams as well wouldn't do any harm. Sell this refinery off. Okay, so yeah, we'll just go for those right now. I'll actually send these to his base, I guess. Does he have a refinery on there? Yes, he does. Okay, okay, so I'm going to go for those and counterattack with the tip troopers. And these infantry will ensure that I have what it takes to kill off his infantry. I don't think he will have enough though. Okay. Don't need any more of those though. Maybe we can leave those here though, just for some defense versus him. And he's going to be forced to go into a mass Scorpion tanks now. And yeah, he's going to be forced to defend. Let's get some forces over here because he has some bikes, uh, quite a number of them, so we need to be ready for those. Okay, and basically all it's going to come down to here is micro. Micro is key. Okay, so they're going to do some pretty significant damage for me. Those uh, tip troopers being uh, really, really effective versus bikes, as you can see. And I'm going to get an favorable engagement there as well. Oh. And Vision not really paying attention here. Not sure why. Is there something happening there? No, there is not. Those tip troopers do have uh, immunity to Tiberium. Why well, you'd think so, because they are covered in it. And he's pretty much in disarray right now. He has his refinery up on his field, but I don't think that's going to be enough for him, ultimately. 
Okay, and we're just gonna put these in there and try and unbox his units. And these tip troopers will make it so it's very hard for him to retreat. As you can see, I can make it so he can't retreat here. And those tip troopers do have a lot of uses, as you can see. Oh, more bikes coming my way. I'm gonna have to deal with those. Okay, and I'm going to rally my forces over there right now. Get these um, back. Don't want to lose those. Just kill those off, those fanatics. Okay, and those doing tons of damage, those um, tip troopers, as you can see, his um, show turrets were offline at the worst of moments there for him. Okay, and yeah, I'm just going to roll in here and kill everything. Okay, so we'll just kill these fanatics off. Okay, and oh crap, Harvest is getting under siege here. I want to do something about that. I'm gonna get them back to work though immediately. And he's really resilient as you can see, One Vision, not wanting to give in the towel. I don't think he really understands how doomed he is in this game. Okay, well, I'll just go for more, I guess. More Scorpion tanks keep up the pressure. Okay, maybe go for some buggies as well, because I see those fanatics are the only thing that are keeping me away from killing him. Just want to make sure that I don't get torn up by those fanatics, actually, and I'll be fine here. Kill this refining off so he doesn't have a bit of ground control there. Alright, and yeah, let's just go up here and kill some of his harvesters at that third field. I'll go for a chemical plant, I guess, as well. Maybe some buggies. But uh, yeah, I don't really need much. Just need to do this. Maybe go behind the base here and kill some of these harvesters, or at least weaken them for my catalyst missile. Alright, so yeah, we'll get behind here. That's enough buggies actually. We'll keep going for Scorpion Tanks because it's such a large map. Avatars won't make much sense. Oh my god, the fanatics again. Those things really causing tons of damage. Bloody hell, these fanatics. Really, really effective. Yeah, I'm just going to replenish my Tiberium here. Maybe going for one big attack. Four buggies will be enough, I do reckon, here. And maybe I can lure him onto a Tiberium field with my one click. Always a possibility. Am I going for another refinery? Yes, I am. We'll stop going for that, actually. Try and lure him onto that tip field. And he just cannot do this forever, man. I mean, it's getting pretty ridiculous at this point. Going to kill these off, these fanatics. And as you can see, in the end of the day, I don't think it's going to matter with this fanatic defense. Been pretty terrific, though, for him. Might be able to get behind here and one click him. Get a nice one click here, actually. Okay. And we'll just one click him everywhere, I think, here at this point. 
get this refinery click so we can uh, finish off with the chemical plant. And maybe we can move this MZB forward for um, base defenses because he has um, infantry. So we'll move it over here. I want to retain my army though. I don't want to lose it if I can help it. And I'm just forcing him around in circles here basically at this point. Okay. But I suppose he does feel that he still has a chance in this game, so yeah. Based on the way I've been playing though, I can't really blame him. It's been pretty awful. Do I have my particle beam upgrade for my units? I think I do. No, I do not. So yeah, I need to have that immediately. Get those um, particle beams underway. Probably sell the chemical plant as well. And he's just going for mass infantry right now. I'm not sure if I agree on that. Maybe go for another MCV if that's the case. Maybe more of these, uh, actually these tip troopers, rather than a secondary MCV. We'll just go for mass tip trooper. Okay. And these mass tip troopers will wreak havoc on his infantry. Just need to make sure I get enough of them though. It worked for me earlier on, I had very little. With two racks I should have more than enough here. Get a good race gen here. Okay. And to roll into his Tiberium field at the moment and see what we can do. And just crush his infantry here. That's one good thing about Scorpion tanks is that they're also extremely effective versus infantry. You can crush them easily. Alright, well we should probably coordinate this better and send in the tip troopers as well at the same time as crushing with those. But yeah, as in other mod factions, it's hard dealing with infantry, such as black hand infantry. It just is. Okay, so let's see what happens here. And this will be pretty much a massacre here. Okay, and just gonna kill all these off. And maybe I can also get a one click on there as well. And what's happening over here? Not too much. This infantry, they're just going to get torn up by the tip troopers here. He has his MCV, that's how he's able to place those um, shoulder turrets down. And that's going to be GG. So yeah, one, one vision not willing to throw in the towel, again, like in the first game. And um, very sloppy gameplay by myself, but uh, mixing in the tip troopers with the scorpion tanks, definitely a um, pretty good combination there. Uh, if executed properly and better, I probably could have done a lot more with those. But uh, needless to say, I did win that game and I'm quite happy with it. So yeah, we'll go to the next game. All right, guys, Master Leaf here, back to do the fourth game versus One Vision. And this time I've been dealt Steel Talons, so yeah, I'm not too pleased about that. Steel Talons being the worst faction in the game. And yeah, the map is going to be Tournament Odyssey. There is two spikes per each player on this map, like I've mentioned before. I want to make sure that I lo don't lose my engineers to the buzzers, which he probably does have, because he's one vision. See, so yeah, I need to be uh, cautious of those buzzers. And keep him scouted, of course. I'm not going to go for the pit. I will rather, I would rather scout with these. Okay, and I'm just going to leave this rifle here so I can kill buzzers off. I will be able to kill one buzzer, I don't imagine he'll make more than one, because he doesn't know what faction I am, he doesn't know if I'm Steel Talons, unless he was paying attention to scouting. Okay, and... Oh my god, he's got four buzzers there, how the hell has he got four buzzers? Might be able to maybe get this alive, but no, I'm not going to save it. Well, he did um, invest a lot of those into those buzzers there. Four freaking buzzers, to be precise. Not that you would expect that. 
it's a bit of a risk in my opinion, but yeah, these risks have been really paying off for One Vision lately. Might be able to trap this buzzer. Okay, we can just kill this off. Okay, well, it's not really a big deal losing that. He's got tons of buzzers over there as well. Wow, is he going for some kind of all-in? That really doesn't make much sense. Maybe he's got an engineer over there. Hmm, interesting. Maybe he does have an engineer, so I want to be wary of that. I don't think he's still Trout 59 because he would have made more descents than that if he was. Looks like he's just going to be vanilla screen here. Okay. And we're just going to scout him here. I don't think he's um, traveled. Like I said, well, I'm not going to scout him because I'll be really behind if he wasn't. So I'm just going to do this. I do have a hunch that he has an engineer there, but I don't think he does. It's just really odd how he would make four buzzers there. Probably does have an engineer. So I'm going to draft a shredder turret here. Or in my case, it's going to be a watchtower. And uh, yeah, the income is really, really slow here, as you can see. Okay, and yeah, we'll just go for eco. I do have a hunch that he has an engineer, that's why I'm drafting a shredder turret there. Rifle squad will be sent there to see if he has an engineer. Don't think he does though. Okay, so we're going to send harvesters at the same time there. He made tons of buzzers. He made like six, seven, eight buzzers. I guess he made the other group just in case he didn't scout me. And that was black hand. I mean, there's only a small chance that I would have been Black Hand. I'm not sure what kind of screen faction he is. Probably going to be... Hmm. Not entirely certain. Needless to say, we'll go for Tier 3 and try and do what we did in the first game. And that is keep him on Tier 1 with the Firehawks. That's the only way I can see myself winning here. Okay, he's going to do some kind of push to me by the look of things. Okay, he's not actually sending any units to me right now, so that's promising. I'm gonna draft a V35 though, just to see what's up in his base. I guess we'll go for AP ammo as well, just for that added defense with the watchtowers. We'll get the AP ammo. Okay, and we're just gonna scout him here. He has seekers, I can see, coming to me, but that's not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna just throw down watchtowers and hold him off. And I'm going to keep him scouted here. Put a bookmark on this airfield so I can jump back to it like I did in the first game with ease. And these V-35s will allow me to spot where the Seekers are coming from. Okay, so he has the Seekers there. So we're going to do something about that. I don't think he has anything over there as well right now. Does he have... Is he going for Tier 3? But look at things he is. Okay, well, no need to go for more of those right now. Maybe we just go for uh, Mammoth Tanks now, actually, and we'll get the Railgun upgrade. He's going for a Hex. Okay, so Fast Tech Hex is on the cards for Vision here. Might be able to get a bomb on this now. And uh, try and get my Firehawk out as soon as possible. I need it done though, right the hell now. And then I can use that to get it. Okay, and... Okay, so let's see what happens here. Oh my god, I didn't get it. Oh, that was so close. It could have been a lot closer there. Damn it. Well, he's going to have Hex out. Which is a bit unfortunate for me. He did have the storm column queued as well. Where's my other V35? I need to make another V35 so I can scout ahead. But yeah, he was able to save that. Okay, and oh, what? What the hell? Got a hammerhead. Uh, I need to kill that EMP spike as well. So we'll see what we can do about that. Um, yeah, I just got no money right now. I'm not even sure what the hell I'm doing. Got no money. 
I should have my thing done though. Ah, I really need my firehawks done so I can um, kill his um, thing though. Yeah, I just need money for the fur for firehawk. Right the hell now. Okay, so there's his prodigy. Might be able to kill that actually. Ah, uh, he's got the shards already actually, so never mind. And I'll go lose again another firehawk, so yeah, a bit unfortunate there. Okay, um should be interesting here. Might really get around the side with one mammoth tank and kill that. Got no income, wanna do something about that. He lost his prodigy, so that's good good I guess. Probably could just bomb his prodigy actually rather than uh, go for his buildings. And there we go. Oh, his drone ship is expanding. Might be able to stop that from expanding when it's on the cliff, of course. We're going to wait till it's on the cliff before we expand. Does he have an airfield? Yes, he does. Okay, well, that's interesting to note. Well, why am Oh, I've got that on the airfield. Okay, never mind. He needs to go for hammerheads as well. Okay, so he's about to lose it. Uh, no, he's not. Okay, so I guess he suspects that I have that there. Okay, might be able to kill this here, and nope, he's not going to allow it. So yeah, he was pretty much on top of that right there. He somehow has mass shard seeker as well. Not sure why, but need to save this MCV here if I can. Should be able to though. Maybe get these mav tanks around the side. Do something with those. I'm looking pretty good here as long as I can keep my forces alive and keep going for mass hammerhead. Uh, yeah, I need to get these over here right now. He has the cult over there as well, so I'm not going to be able to breach his base right now, which is a bit of a pain. It's going to be just hex slamming right now, which is a real freaking nuisance, but it is what it is. Okay, and yeah, I should be able to maybe kill this prodigy actually with the firehawks. That might actually work well for me. Oh crap! And oh my god, why did I lose that? He must have been on top of that prodigy there. But uh, yeah, that was really bad for me actually. It's just going to be non-stop hex laming here, which is a real pain, real nuisance, but it is what it is. Oh crap. Oh my god, why has he got devastated warships? I had firehawks for frick's sake. Why did he make those? Oh, that was really weird. But yeah, I don't think Steel Towns can do anything versus that. It's just, it's just impossible. I was dealt uh, the worst faction versus the, the best faction in the game. Um, well, the worst faction to face as Steel Talons, so yeah, one of those games, these games are just not going so well, I'm losing every single, every single coin flip. Okay guys, this is going to be another game, this time versus Dirty Dutch, so yeah, one version not going to play anymore, I've decided to pick my faction, going with Black Hand, because you know, it's a faction that um, doesn't have any poker to it, so yeah, I just want to have a few games where faction luck isn't really the de determining factor of the winner the outcome oh my god what's this map it is highlands okay and uh, yeah being dealt black hand here uh, i heard technique has a new revision of this map underway he's gonna remove the mountain here apparently 
among other things. I do think he's also making the the size of it smaller, which is a welcome addition. I'm versus Dutch in this game, and he's a nod, vanilla nod, so he will have an advantage in late game because he has the laser capacitor scorpion tanks and black hand not really going to fare too well versus all that. So yeah, I'm going to have to be at the top of my game, which I'm not, to handle those. But yeah, I can improve shortly. Okay, so I'm just going to take these two spikes over and scout him with these cabals. Won't need to make any um, buggy to scout him for that reason. I'm a bit passive lately, not rushing at all. Perhaps I could have gone for a rush there, but uh, now I'm going to make bikes after my third harvester. And see how that goes. Alright, so... I'm just going to harvest this Tiberium. He's going for a bike himself. Okay, so that'll delay his harvester for our, by 5 seconds. So I will have a slight economic advantage over Dutch in this game. Now buggy first doesn't generally mean that he's going to go eco. So I'm going to go for some bikes myself. And uh, kill that uh, buggy off as well in the process. And it looks like the lag is returning. I'm pretty sure it's one vision. And there is a bug here to stop a man's view from expanding, which is not good, not what I want to see. I'm going to actually deploy it here and make another power plant. And man, this lag is really infuriating. I'm really sick of it at the moment. Maybe it's me because I'm experiencing it in almost every single game I'm playing. This game is illy optimized. Yeah, Dutch is just going to eco in this game. He's probably going for two war factories himself as well. So yeah, I'm going for infantry actually and hold this off. So what I'll do now is I'll just uh, drop my MCV and go for a hand of Nod and try and go for some infantry to stop his two war factory because that's what he's going to do. Oh, I'm going to go for a shrine actually, not that. And yeah, he's going for two war factory as, as I suspected. Okay, and yeah, he don't think he scouted me. I think he has a buggy out somewhere, so he should really be using that to scout me so he can see this shrine that I'm building right now. I didn't really make an effort to stop that buggy. And I've got no money right now, so I'm going to pause this harvester, reorder it in a moment. Go for that shrine upgrade over anything else. Okay. And maybe he thinks that I'm going for more of those, but I'm definitely not. I'm going to get these caught out of position here, which is a bit of a pain, though it will buy me some time at least. Okay, and I'm just going to move my city a little bit more forward. It's going for um, those right now, Scorpion Tanks. Not sure if I necessarily agree on that as well. But yeah, I'm going to have plentiful defense here versus his bikes at least. He's just going for Scorpion Tanks. Um, but yeah, I have the upgrade, so I'm going to be fine here versus anything that he throws at me. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can push out. We'll actually do that right now. Push out with everything. We'll go for more economy. Let's end harvest over here right now. Build some more of those. And maybe we can tear down the Tiberium spike at the moment. I'm just scattering these infantry just so that those bikes will engage them. They won't be able to avoid my infantry force. Okay. He's going to de destroy my spike. However, I'm going to return the favor. I'm also going to move my SV a little bit over here so that I can space my thing so that I don't get it destroyed. Okay. And yeah, that will be destroyed. And here are his bike buggies coming my way. Okay, and he's got no harvesters there, but I will be able to keep my uh, infantry there, though, just in case. Might get this back, actually. Clean as, as many bikes as possible. 
actually having a hard time actually focus firing those. Okay, and we'll just take more blue tip. Actually, there's blue tip up here for the taking, so we'll take that. And we'll just keep going for Scorpion Tanks and go for the upgrade for the Scorpion Tanks, uh, which is available at Tier 2. I'm actually going to just split my forces up in groups now. I'm going to start um, doing that. That's one way I have of um, doing something here, is just splitting up. Though I may be required to consolidate them all here. Get that building garrisoned, I guess. And do I want to go for a 3 war factory here? Probably. 3 war factories, in my opinion, better than going for lasers. He does have his Dozer Blade upgrade online. So he will have an advantage with the Scorpion tanks. So I'm just going to send my forces up here right now. And I've got my Dozer Blade upgrade. Okay, that's a lot good, isn't it? And he has the, those, the scorpion tanks in position to engage. I'm not going to expand here because expanding would be suicidal. So I'm just going to get all these forces back. Okay, and just get all them back here. Okay, so we'll do this. Maybe he might be forcing me on the Tiberium field. Where's my MCV? There it is. I need to know whether or not he's going for a tier 3 or not. Oh crap. Well, we will be able to at least split our forces up here a little bit and handle him. Those are blades not done just yet for me. I'm hoping to get a decent engagement here, but that's not a good one. He's going to sandwich me in here a little bit, but I'm going to do the same here and take out a lot of these tanks here and get a nice trade at least. And I'm actually fleeing an engagement that I can easily win. Okay, and yeah, he's not going to engage me there. I'd imagine he probably has laser scope, laser capacitors done in the moment. He's got venoms as well. Not sure why he decided to make those. Um, he probably has laser scorps, so I'm going to engage him now. Actually. Yeah, I'm really all over the place right now. I could have had this game if I engaged him a little sooner with the number of advantages that I had. But yeah, it looks like I have a disconnect happening right now. I'm not sure if I am disconnecting. don't think I am, though. Nope, that was just a slight DC there. I'm actually going to sell this MCV. Okay, and we're just going to spread these out a little bit more. And this is a bit suicide, as you can see. He's just sacking all these tanks in there. He has laser scorps and the tip vein, but that's not going to be enough. I'm going to have easily the numbers here to steamroll through and destroy his entire army. Okay, so that's nice. He has one spike over here, so I might be able to destroy that. And this came really messy. It's a tough ask for all those uh, Venoms to destroy my whole Scorpion tank army, but you never know. He might, he might do some damage here. I'm going to try and find his tier 3 if I can. He hasn't got the Tiv Vein anymore. I may, might want to camp his production over anything else. And uh, try and kill these off. As you can see, the anti-air going to dispatch those Venoms. Not sure why he decided to go for Venoms in the first place. Maybe he thought I was going to go for infantry, which I was. So Venoms made a de slight degree of sense. But yeah, if he invested more in Scorpion tanks, he would have been doing just fine there. And I think the clicks also didn't do anything. 
Um, he wasn't able to sneak a buggy into my base to get a click off. Uh, if he had, had done that, maybe he would have been able to win that game. But yeah, a bit uh, flim, a bit of a messy game as the rest were. So yeah, I'll do one more game and see how that goes. All right, guys, this is probably the last game, and we're playing versus Day Dutch on the map. Wow, this map is a new map. It is Tiberium Rift, I do believe. One of those uh, maps that is created by Technique. It is basically a Tiberium Twisted Rift remake. Wow, I'm really getting confused with the names right now. I haven't been playing too much Kane's Wrath lately. I've been signing in a lot, but uh, as far as games go, I haven't been playing that much. I've got like maybe 30 games this month in total, which is a lot less than my average. Okay, so he's not. So I'm not going to invest tons and tons into these um, Awakened because he'll just be able to get a buggy out and forever dance around these while I miss my MP trying to get the buggy locked down but oh I don't want to catch that just yet I want to place my refinery down before I catch that spike so I can get the $500 bonus because if not I won't get that $500 bonus which is obviously uh, not what I want okay so we're going to scout him with these he's probably go for a buggy and trying to he'll probably kill these off actually I might go for bikes myself or not. Well, actually, yeah, we'll go for bikes this time. I might be able to do something with these bikes, actually. At the very least, we'll be able to stop these Waken from dying to his one buggy, which I'd imagine he will have right now. Unless he's going to go for some bikes of his own, which is looking more and more likely, actually. So I'm going to keep these bikes a little secret right now. Just keep them here, I guess. And what does he have here? I'm not going to EMP the MC because it takes some multiple MPs to <clears throat> do anything. Okay, um, I'm a bit suspicious as to what that could mean right now. So I'm going to make a Scorpion tank here, actually. And... Maybe he forgot a to build units not sure okay well that goes down I'm a bit confused why he doesn't have anything maybe he forgot his refinery but yeah that definitely did throw threw me off there I thought uh, he maybe had bikes but yeah he had two harvesters so he couldn't have had that he maybe just forgot his refinery which is obviously easy mistake you can make. Well, that's going to put me a little behind because I was a bit suspicious that he could be um, rushing me or something. But uh, yeah, that did work into Dutch's favor. The fact that he was slow there. Something that uh, Unleashed once done, once done to me with intent. Not entirely certain, but yeah, it did work to a degree. So... Uh, he's not going to engage me there. Unwise too. He'd probably go for two war factories here. Wouldn't be surprised to see that happen. And uh, that's a bit unfortunate there. I was unable to get uh, anything. Remember they kill this bike there as it retreats. And move this MCV into a more defensive position. He might want to turn his bikes actually and try and kill this bike here. I'm not sure if he's informed of that. But yeah, I'm just going to use this bike to scout him actually at the, mean, at the moment. I'd imagine he's going for two war factories right now, the same as me. Whether or not it's an all in is um, yet to be seen. It's not going to be an all in. Okay. Well, that's a nice scout I got at the very least into his base. We'll go for some buggies, I guess, now, just to equalize it a little bit more. And his MCV has yet to expand. Okay, so I'm not sure if I want to wait until he has units there, or I might just want to engage him right now. Okay, and... We're actually going to go and kill these harvesters here. There's two for the taking. So yeah, he's going to be forcing his units back to base. I'm going to go for his expansion here. 
because he probably has everything coming back to base. And should be able to destroy this shortly. Which I do. So that's nice. And no, he's onto it. So yeah, I'm going back here a little bit. He's probably going to go on the counter attack right now. So I want to be ready for that. The bike split definitely did um, work for me there. Dutch, though, not really on top of things right now. He seems like he's not playing that great. He is one of the players who came back recently. He's been gone for quite a while, so that could explain why he's like this. Though, I'm in a similar kind of situation, as you can tell. Though, in my case, I've just suddenly got really bad. I don't understand quite why that is. Probably because I haven't been uh, sleeping too well lately. Sleep definitely does play a major role. I'm actually going to split some of these bikes off, actually. If I can, but yeah, Dutch just going to throw in the towel there. So, uh, yeah, uh, not really much to say about that game. I think Dutch just forgot to build or something along those lines. So I think I'll do one more game because that one was mm, not really worth uh, closing the video out on. Okay, guys, so this will probably be the last game because... Yeah, that last game that I played wasn't too great. I think Dutch forgot to build, but he claimed that he wasn't. Uh, he didn't forget at all, so could be wrong. Anyhow, I'm going to do the exact same as I'd done in the last game. Just go for some Awakened here. Uh, whether or not I'll rush him is a different story. That rush last time didn't work too well. Not even sure if I'll include that game in the final FPV. Probably not. I will drop some of these games. I played some games versus Vision, uh, aside from the ones that are in this video, where um, it was just him getting Nod on Dust Bowl and killing my engineers with Shadow Teams. I mean, I'm not going to go through that. These poker games are not really worth posting. I will post the Steel Talon loss, though, because that just goes to show how that matchup is. Despite the changes to the faction, I still firmly believe that Trial 59 um, do dominate Steel Talons, especially with that teleporting hexapod. That's mostly all it comes down to. Everything else can be handled relatively easily, but it's just that hex that is just not a. Uh, it's not really what we want to see at all. So I got four awakened here. I'm just going to probably EMP his harvesters. That's unusual how he's got two of those there. Is he going for some kind of shadow team rush? No, I don't suppose he would, would he? I will be able to EMP his um, show turrets though, if he does that. And even EMP this as well. So yeah, we're just going to keep this buggy EMP'd for as long as possible. Ah, a bit too late there. He's going to get some repairs though and just go back. I'm not sure if I agree on uh, just staying there though. He's going to lose it though. And he's going to lose that. Okay. And just going to EMP this. Not sure if he has bikes coming my way. Really, I didn't need to. I didn't scout for those. So I'll do that right now. And if he does, they'll be all the way around the side. So I'm going to be safe and make some bikes of my own right now. In case he has bikes coming around the long way. He has one bike there. So that's uh, more evidence that he could be rushing me. So I'm going to... Just make some bikes in case that is the case. And those Awakened did force out two buggies. I was able to kill one of them though, which is nice. And yeah, those Awakened are pretty bullet spongy. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to expand here. Pretty safe on this build. He's going for two War, two war, the two war Factories himself. Get these bikes out of um, vision. So I might be able to kill his Harvester at a later point with those. Okay, um, so yeah, he doesn't know about those bikes over there, so I might kill his harvester. Okay, so we're just going to scout him with this bike here, so we can reveal the map. Uh, revealing the map is key when you're um, using bike buggy, so you know where to go and where not to go. Okay, and... 
yeah, it's going to all come down to micro here. I should be able to get some pretty decent trades, honestly. So, yeah, maybe I can get some good trades if I do this. With the group micro. And as you can see, that's how you group micro bikes so you don't overkill at all. Okay, and and those will get dispatched there. And I did pick up a really good trade there, as you saw. The group micro definitely did pay off. I'm gonna do it again once more. It does take a bit of effort to assign the groups, but once you do, they're quite fine. I'm gonna sell the war factory here, I guess. And just keep him contained for the moment. And try and make it so he has to pay for this. And that's what he's going to do. He's just going to hug his war factory, which I'm pretty fine with. Okay, well. I'll just do this. Oh, crap. He's just going to exploit the opportunity that he has to destroy those. And yeah, that was a mistake right there. He knows that uh, that was a big mistake. I am going to kill his refining over here if he has one. I don't think he does, though. And really, I don't think that was a good idea by me. I'm going to get my harvesters caught out of position here, which is a mistake. And oh my god, what am I doing? This is quite a disaster. Where are his bikes right now? I don't even know where they are. We'll just keep those packed there for the moment. Okay, and to get more economy in the meantime. It looks like he's just pretty much all in at this point. I'm not sure why he's bothering to keep his MCV around. Because I have this refinery up. Uh, for that reason, I don't have any rush to engage him. I'm not sure why I um, split my units up there. That was a mistake. That was a good example of when not to split units off. Oh crap, he's got units there as well. Okay, well he's going to find my harvesters and destroy those right there, which is a, not really what I want to see. And he's killing too many of my harvesters, man. I really don't have no need to lose this many harvesters. And I'm going to kill this right here. destroy that easily probably just destroy this as well actually and this as well okay and yeah I'm in a good position right now so I'm just going to engage go for more bike buggy just mass bike buggy at this point really and I'll be good to go. How many harvesters do I have? I have five harvesters only, so yeah, that's not really ideal either. I want to go for more harvesters. And try and split these uh, into groups. Maybe just go for an MCV all-in as well. Probably might be the best bet I have so I can get that cash injection, which is much needed right now. Okay, so yeah, uh, if he's doing the same, killing these power plants off will be beneficial for me. So I'm going to try and kill as many power plants here as possible. Okay, and kill those that harvester off. The more harvesters I kill, the better here. And maybe kill this production here. Uh, the more production I kill, this, the worst is going to be for him. He won't have the means of defending. And there goes his ref there. So yeah, he's basically boxed in that corner. So I might be able to just push out right now. 
and take that blue tip as well. So we'll make an effort at that blue tip field. And my engineer is making route to this spike right now. I want to try and do something about that. Now he can't really go out and push me because if he does he's just going to lose his entire base. So I'm not really concerned about defending right now. Because I know if I just roll in here I'll win. So I'll do that. And bikes mixed in with scorpion tanks are simply just better than bikes alone. I mean scorpion tanks alone. As you can see, the, the real DPS dealers are not the scorpion tanks, but the bikes. And I'm also going to grab this as well. And yeah, he's going to find that I have nothing here, but that's not really going to matter because I'm just going to crush through into this base and win because I have the far superior force. That's going to be GG. So yeah, um, that's uh, another game versus Dutch. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It hasn't been the best of videos uh, I've ever made, admittedly, because I haven't been playing too well. But I hope uh, that it's um, mildly entertaining. And uh, I guess you get to see how badly I do perform when I'm actually bad. So that's why I picked uh, this time to record. But uh, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. And uh, I will be doing more videos, um, potentially, uh, with better gameplay. Well, I hope anyhow. So yeah, guys, I hope, uh, this is Masterleaf. Peace out.